even if you know, what are you going to do about it? For us as Murids, what is that barzah that we are making while we're still here, walking on the face of this earth? What is that barzah? What is that waiting station? How are you going to live? How are you going to die? How are you going to die is how you're going to be raised. You're living as Ahli Paradise. You will die as Ahli Paradise. You will be raised in Paradise, waiting room of Paradise. That is your bazaar. You are still being idiot, heedless, selfish, disobedient, stubborn. These are characteristics of the people of the fire. It doesn't matter if you pray 50 times a day. Doesn't matter if you read Quran 24 hours. Doesn't matter which lineage you come from. You have characteristics of shaitan, characteristics of the fire. You're going to die like that and you're going to be raised like that. What is important for us? What kind of alam that we are going to enter into? What kind of alam that we are making? Because the paradise is also empty. Paradise is empty. Allah has given paradise to everyone. It is empty. It is a good works, good deeds, good intentions, good actions that you do here in this world that is going to make the kind of paradise to become a paradise. Do you understand? And what are you going to make there? Are you going to make things that is very shaky foundation? Huge, beautiful, a lot of work you put in it. You're making huge palace, let's say. But it has very weak foundation. <sighs> With one blow like that, everything comes down. Why are you going to go through that? Why are you going to spend so much time on all those things and you don't spend time on the foundation? In Tariqat, it is dealing with that foundation. Then according to the level of sincerity, sincerity that you have, you think it is very difficult for Allah to command that angel to say, now build. No, you don't have to build. Others are going to build for you. And it's not going to fall down. You build something, one part falls because you're doing wrong thing, the angels, Allah will command, put it back into place. Something falls, put it back into place because the foundation is strong. Now you're not working on your foundation, you're not working, foundation is what? Yourself, your ego, striving in Allah's way, jihadul akbar. You're not working on that. One small action you do will destroy everything. Because Holy Prophet is saying, just as fire destroys wood, envy destroys all our good actions. So I'm asking you, which masjid is now teaching you about envy, warning you about envy, the thousands of tricks and traps of envy, how to identify it is like a virus in your body you don't even know that is there and telling you this is how you treat it how many not even the dargahs are doing that now because everyone is high level and everyone is talking about love but it burns you can be doing all good things it burns just just like that you are working on your envy you're following one part falls, very easy for the angel now to build it because the foundation is there. Foundation is fixing it. Foundation is submission. Submit like the angels. Don't submit like shaitan. Shaitan did not submit anyway. The angels, they make the prostration, meaning submitting to the orders of Allah, to someone that is just being created, 
then. They have been in creation for billions of years, worshipping Allah billions of years. This is another part nobody really talks about. If there's anyone to step up and to say, I'm better than this one, it would have been the angels, no? Because they are made also from the light of Allah, not shaitan. Shaitan is made from fire. And the angels have done more for the sake of Allah than shaitan can ever dream of. But the angels did not say that. They didn't say this one is just being created. And why I should be doing that? Because the angels, they understand what submission is. Yes, when they question, Allah put that in their hearts to question, not because they have that capacity to question. They have no desire. Now mankind, we have that capacity to submit and we have the capacity to also question. And Allah is saying, if you question and you submit to me, I will raise you above the angels. Not just to rely on your questioning. If you submit to me, to a higher intelligence than the one small intelligence I've given to you, I will raise you above the angels. So the angels, although they're higher, they've done more. Let's say they've done more to honor Allah and to worship than shaitan. They never question. So submit, like the angels. And who did they submit to? Someone that has just been, the breath of life is given. But it's also not just, it's not blind submission, you understand? It's not blind submission. They understood what they understood. This is something else too. Your stubbornness is going to stop you from understanding. Even if you see everything there, intelligence is there, the proof is all there, the knowledge is all there, no, you're going to say. Stubbornness, not because you cannot understand, you don't want to understand. Because Adam salam, it was witnessed in paradise when the breath of life was given to him, First thing that he said when he woke up is, Alhamdulillah, he sneezed. And he says, Alhamdulillah, which is what? The first what? The first ayat of the Quran al Kareem. Alhamdulillah, isn't it? He already knows. They were shocked. They said it's just been created. But he already knows to praise his Lord in the most highest praise. Allah has put it. He said, this must be a very extraordinary creature. You cannot judge him even according to angelic intelligence, which later on, which before when Allah said, I'm going to create mankind, they said, no, you're going to just, we are, what has the knowledge come to us is they have this ego and they're going to make bloodshed. But Allah is saying, I know what you don't know. And Allah is now showing a little bit of that. Because although Adam alayhi salam, he made that action that causes displeasure to his Lord, huh? he did. Still, he turned back to his Lord. He did not become rebellious. He did not become rebellious. Even with the punishment that is given to him, he did not become rebellious. He was thrown out of divine presence too, like shaitan. He was thrown to the same place that shaitan is thrown, this world. Shaitan came with all these powers. Allah has given him the power. Up till today, shaitan still has those powers. Adam alayhi salam came down to this world. He didn't have any power. Still, he is saying, forgive me. Still, he did not become rebellious. Still, he is crying, not because he missed paradise, 
Not because he missed his wife. Not because he missed the pleasures and the treasures of Jannat. He's missing his Lord because he's separated from his Lord. This is in each and every one of us. This is our fitrat. That he stood on one foot on the Mount of Serendip in Sri Lanka, begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 300 years, asking for forgiveness. Understand now the quality of Hazrat Ibn Sun that even the angels are shocked with. Angels are shocked. Angels are constantly shocked by mankind. Whether in the good way or in the bad way, angels are completely shocked. Angels were shocked when Ibrahim alayhi salam refused their help. Angels were shocked with the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. We will give revenge to you, as all some earlier prophets do. They ask, not because the prophets had hatred or revenge, but they just become very sad and very fed up because it is angering their Lord and they open their hands and they ask for punishment to their nation because they give up. And even Musa is saying, what am I going to do with these proud people? But the Holy Prophet والسلام, he never gave up and the angels were shocked. So mankind has that capacity to shock the angels So the submission of the angels, not the submission of shaitan. Shaitan, in his rebellion, he's thinking he's submitting to Allah. In his rebellion, he says, I don't make sajda to anything but you. He thinks he's submitting, but he's only fooling himself. Because in reality, he's submitting only to his ego, what he wants. I do something. So you have to give something back to me. Making Allah to be like a businessman. That the, the spiritual teachings of Islam is saying, now Allah is generous. He gives even before you ask. Allah is most generous. When you ask, He will give. Allah is most generous. When you do, he will send the rewards. Allah is most generous. He has created your risk before He has created you. But Allah wants you to return to Him. Now seek Him. Seek His pleasure. Seek His face. Don't seek to please yourself. So to have the submission at least the submission of the angels, and the angels are shocked when they submit. What happens? Adam alayhi salam is showing them something of the what? Of the mercy and the greatness of their Lord that they have never seen. Because now mankind is going to reveal something about Allah that not the angels they have seen before. That's why the Allah is saying, just to look at your shaykh, that is worship. Hmm. That's some, the Allah is saying, to look at a stupid person, that is a sin. <laughs> How many stupid people we're seeing every day? I don't mean, don't say, oh, my children's stupid, my wife's stupid. My, no, no, no. Look at how many images there are around us. How many thousands of images we turn on that television and we're seeing all kinds of stupidity that is there. And these are the friends of Allah that the angels will travel just to look at them to see. Because they're seeing, they say, now these ones, they are Qibla. They point the direction to Allah. Now these are the ones who are the signs of Allah. You understand? And what does that mean to be Ayatollah? Oh, not the Ayatollahs that they give certificate and titles. 
here and there, everyone is Ayatollah. That you're going to move your finger and the sun will go down. You're going to move your finger and the moon is going to go up. That you have the power now to have the sun in your right hand and the moon in your left. As the Holy Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Is this a ch Of course it is. Because of the love that Hazrat Ali had for the Holy Prophet hmm? The Prophet wasallam was resting his head on his lap and the sun was going down and he missed the Asr prayer. Holy Prophet wasallam is saying, because of the love that he has for me, Ya Rabbi, Stop the sun from sinking to give Hazrat Ali, to give Ali some time to pray. Authority is given. They are not using it these days. They cannot use it these days. When Mahdi alayhi salam comes, he will open up that authority. Is this only the wrong ones are showing that kind of authority? Only the wrong ones are running to find that power. Only the wrong ones are going to excite the people to run after those kinds of things without dealing with the foundation. Then you're going to be chasing after knowledge that is so high, but your shaitan is the one who's leading you to that kind of knowledge. Before you know it, you're going to be with Dajjal instead of with Mahdi alayhi salam. So find those ones that are the signs of Allah. The greatest sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Holy Prophet And those who follow him, the inheritors, they are there for you. They are not there for themselves, they are there for you, for us. May Allah forgive us because we are very weak ones, we are very rebellious ones to them, we are very disobedient ones to them. May they never turn their face from us. May they be pleased with us. May they make our hearts to become strong and soft, inshallah, to know what is right and what is wrong not to give in to the evil that is inside of us or outside not to be tricked inshallah wa min allah tawfiq al fatiha amin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah